Good morning, this is Daniel Warner from Mod Father Clothing in Camden Town. Uh, we've come in early this morning because we've got special delivery uh, from the Royal Mail who have done a special edition 60th anniversary collection of stamps for the Who. Most exciting package we've had at Mod Father this week. Firstly, just really striking strong images of the band and the history of the band. Um, there we go, it's a little presentation pack. And on the front there, you've just got real classic iconic images. I think that's the Marquee Club. Pete Townsend put his guitar for an amp. Roger Daltrey looking incredibly cool. Iconic images, all based around sort of pop art and the early days of the band. That's quite mod actually. Uh, again, you've got Townsend leaping through the air. Just the band in full flight, uh, in, their, in their full pomp, really. Just a really, really nice presentation pack, which I'm going to get out. Bit of a fan pack there with a bit of a story as to why Royal Mail have done the collaboration. Middle cover, limited to 5,000 pieces. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Iconic images of the band. It's got the Target, which is a classic bit of mod iconography. The Who mod icons, of course they are. They've influenced so many bands since. There's knitwear in there that you, you find very similar in here. Again, the style hasn't really changed and they really influence so many people and so many people. Bands on the back of their, their early days. Again, lots of classic pop art images on the back. Keith Moon, looking incredibly young, cool. Townsend in his Union Jack blazer, not many people pull that off. Again, very, very cool thing. Okay, and these are, I think, the first day covers. So let's open one of these up. Again, the brand draped in a flag, not unlike the one we got on our counter here. I think just out of shot, there's a little boy and a little girl on the original image, just hiding around the back of the statue. But you can imagine, <laughs> although that's probably a set up shot, that that's the sort of way that they would have woke up most mornings after a gig. <laughs> and a hedonistic night out. Again, just really nicely presented, spanning the 60 year career of the band. The Who logo there, you can see that featured on Keith Moon's drum skin back in the day. And I think the attention to detail on this is, is fantastic. And again, just looking at a lot of the clothing because that's what I'm into, the very early sort of moddy images of, of The Who, Roger in a lovely button down shirt, you know, the Oxford Union Jack blazer. Not many bands and people could carry that off, but at the time, you know, that was stunning. Very, very nice. Right, I'm gonna move on. Looking into these little stamp books here, really nicely presented, very affordable, so a really lovely entry level piece, which has got you know four albums there. From my generation, Tommy, um, who's next, onto Quadrophenia. Um, just a very accessible, affordable, nicely presented set of stamps. I think that's a really cool little thing. Um, right, this is mega. I'd have this framed on my wall, or I'd pop this in here. It, look, it wouldn't look out of place at Mon Farmer Globe on the wall somewhere. Just a really beautifully presented, featuring iconic albums, some great images of individual band members and the band as a whole at different stages in their career. Again, up to a very recent one where you've just got Roger and Pete on stage, giving it some welly. Um, I just think it's a really lovely thing. Just vibrant colours, classic albums, classic images. It would look amazing framed, and I think we're all gonna do it as a, as a framed copy. Again, another amazing piece here. I'm gonna move on, not too quickly, because I wanna take it all in. Um, like a little seven, seven inch record. So this is a fan sheet, which has got, like I said it looks like a, a record sleeve. It features Peter Blake album, the most recent artwork, which again is stunning and sort of harks back to some of the band's work earlier with the artists in their career. My generation, again, just different eras of the band where they had different sounds and coming from very moddy beginnings and that sort of heavy rock sound that came in and got Quadrophenia in there obviously. That iconic image of Chad wearing the Parker on the front of the album. Again, another collector's piece. I imagine it's limited to a small run. Yeah, like that. This is the Pete Townsend fan sheet. Um, again, it's a picture of the marquee from 1967. Pete Townsend's doing what he used to do famously at that era of the band. He was smashing up his equipment and making a statement. A bit of a youth explosion, if you will. Stunning image. Uh, I love the drum skin. Daughtry in the background doing what he does, trying to concentrate on delivering the, the lyrics and the sound while <laughs> Townsend smashes uh, his guitar to pieces. It's just a lovely, lovely thing. And again, there's some stamps at the bottom here. Um, Pictures by, photos by Ray Stevenson. So it's a famous image. Again, I'm gonna look into his work because that's a really, really nice image. Um, yeah, another really nice thing. So this is just a lovely framed, nice collector's piece. It celebrates the Who, but also, obviously also Royal Mail's uh, collaboration um, and the beautiful set of stamps that they've done. 
but they've had so many albums and so many songs that mean so much to so many people. This is a great image of the band in the early days. Again, Keith Moon, but so young there. Classic mod iconography, he's got the Target jumper on. Lots of badges on Pete's uh, jacket there. When you consider what people are going to see the Who in the marquee, if they imagine that 60 years later the band will still be around and have created the legacy that they have, I want one of these. Okay, so coming into the last couple of pieces in the box, it's been an amazing collection so far, but these are sort of standout pieces really. Um, like a little speaker or amp set here, you've got this amazing prestige collection. You can imagine, uh, <laughs> looks like it's been damaged here. I think someone's put a guitar for it. That era of the brand, the band was smashing up equipment and Townsend was putting his guitar through speaker decks and amps. And, this is just obviously harking back to that. Let's just open it up and have a look inside. Again, an iconic image of Townsend smashing something to pieces, damaging his guitar, and again at the time that had been very shocking. And wanted to make a statement about you know youth rebellion and what was going on at the time. And here it is encapsulated in this image. So let's open this up. Again, little history lesson. Some images that I haven't seen. I've seen lots of images of the Who from the sort of beginnings in and around the marquee and sort of early days and, and obviously the changing lineup which happened in, with the death of um, Keith Moon and, and the Ox and Whistle. But just such a nicely presented, you know, pictures from Ready Steady Go and other bits and pieces the band were up to and world tours. And I think that's uh, be my favorite bit of the collection so far. And I'm gonna finish with, I think this is like the the sort of ultimate really, the 60th anniversary platinum uh, stamp set. So this is the most sort of high-end piece I think in the collection. I'm gonna open it up. And again, for any collectors out there, it's those eight albums again, on a sort of platinum, in a plastic hard case. Just a really nice collector's edition piece. I think Peter Blake sort of ties the whole thing together. And a very nice collector's piece. People like attention to detail, and I think Royal Mail have done that with this collection. It charts the band's life fantastically. Um, from the very early days, like I said, up until the present day. I just think it's a lovely collection, and I think it, um, it does the band justice.